Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to prove that the sum of two cubes can be factorized as this. What do you mean by sum of two cubes? A cubic number plus another cubic number. All right. Uh, I know that if I take x plus y whole to the power of 3, I shall obtain terms that correspond to x cubed and y cubed. So let's do that. If I have x plus y raised to the power of 3. You know this is the same thing as x plus y multiplied by x plus y multiplied by x plus y, right? This is the expansion of this. So let's start with the first two. x times x will give us x squared. x times y will give us xy. We are done with the first term. Then y times x is the same thing as either y, x, or x, y. So let me write it as x, y. And lastly, we have y times y, which is y squared. But remember, we still have another factor, which is x plus y. But the middle terms are like terms. So we have x squared plus 2 of this x, y, then plus y squared. The whole of this should be multiplied by x plus y. Remember, we are still expanding uh, x plus y to the third power. So we are going to distribute again. Let's take x multiplied by x squared. That will give us x cubed. x multiplied by 2 xy will give us 2x squared y because the x and the x will multiply. Then x times y squared will give us x y squared we are done with x then y y times x squared will give us what x squared y y times 2 x y will give us 2 x y squared and lastly y times y squared will give us y cubed all right let's see do we have like terms I can see 2x squared y here, and we have 1x squared y here. If you join them, you have 3 of them. So we have x cubed plus 3x squared y. I think, let me mark them. This, this, and these are gone. Then I have this and this are like terms. We have 3 of them. That is 3xy squared. And lastly, we have y cubed. Remember, our main goal is to find what? x cubed plus y cubed, which are here. All right, so let me bring them together. Uh, we have x cubed plus y cubed. Then I will repeat these middle terms. Plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared. Remember, this is the expansion of x plus y to the power of 3. So now let us make this one the subject. By taking the whole of this to the left-hand side. But I would like to keep this one here. Um, okay, let me bring this one backward. We still have x plus y to the third power. As this crosses over, it becomes negative 3x squared y as this crosses over it becomes negative 3xy squared but still we have x cubed plus y cubed to the other side x cubed plus y cubed to the other side all right now we are going to pay attention to the left hand side but you know we can write it as this equal to this it doesn't matter so i'm going to clean here and continue all right having x cubed plus y cubed equals what do we have x plus y to the third power minus 3x squared y minus 3xy squared but if you observe we have 3xy in common between these two terms because 3 and 3 are common factors 
we have x squared here we have x here so we take one x we have y here and we have y squared here so we take a single y so to the right hand side we still have x plus y to the third power minus 3xy then inside minus 3 is outside one of the x's here is outside y is outside we still have x here left then from this negative 3 is outside you know you're going to take the whole of this and divide by this minus 3 divided by minus 3 is positive 1 x divided by x y squared divided by y so we have y here we are still moving now if you observe this is raised to the power of 3 but this is raised to the power of 1 so we can factor out something in common again so this is equal to x plus y then from this what do we have left we have x plus y to the second power left because we have taken x plus y to the first power outside so we still have x plus y to the second power the minus just three x y because this is outside already one of these is outside we have x plus y quantity to the power of two then you know how to expand this right should i do it for you elsewhere all right let me show you x plus y squared is the same thing as x plus y times x plus y i'm trying to expand this so x times x will give us x squared x times y will give us x y then we come here y times x is x y then lastly y times y will give us y squared so you can see that the middle terms are exactly the same we have two of them so this is x squared plus two of this x y then plus y squared so instead of this we are going to replace it with this one so we have x plus y multiplied by this which is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared then we still have this minus 3xy you can see that 2xy negative 3xy so 2 minus 3 is negative 1 so this bracket contains x squared 2xy minus 3xy will give us negative xy then we still have y squared right then don't forget the other bracket to the left this is x plus y what are we simplifying we are still simplifying this because we have equal to equal to equal to this implies that this x cubed plus y cubed is nothing but x plus y multiplied by x squared minus xy plus y squared exactly the same as this and hence proved.